Yo guys, let me here with one of many Kingdom Hearts 3 guides. This first guide will be how to level up extremely fast so that you can either get the trophy for being level 99, or even trying to get to a higher level so you can deal with the other battle portals, or the main thing being, you can deal with the secret boss easier. Obviously the method I'm going to cover will mostly be covering how to level up during end and or post game, since the method I will be covering requires you to be able to enter battle portal number 1, which is located in Olympus. If you are looking for an early slash mid game way to level up, I suggest you go to the toy box world, get into a Gigas, and fight all of the Heartless in your vicinity. More specifically, other Gigas, as they give you a good amount of EXP early game. One more thing before we start is that if you do this method, it should take you about an hour to an hour and a half from say level 40 to get to level 99, and so far this is one of the quickest known ways to level up in the game. Though with that out of the way, let's get into how to grind your levels very quickly. So first, we need to collect two items that will definitely speed up your gaining your levels. That would be the Thunder Cuff Link and the Arrow Cuff Link. Both items raise the damage of your Thunder and Arrow based magics respectively, and also give you access to the Grand Magics Arrowza and Thunderza. These Grand Magics are the key to quickly leveling up. If you didn't pick up the chests that have the Cuff Links you need, don't worry, I'll show you exactly where to find them. First, the Thunder Cuff Link. The Thunder Cuff Link can be found in a chest that is located at the upper level of the Door Vault in Monstropolis. This chest only spawns here after you've beaten the world. You know it's the correct chest if you see a hidden Mickey or a lucky emblem, whatever you prefer, right before turning to the right and seeing the chest. The next and last item we need is the Arrow Cuff Link. The world we are going to here is the Kingdom of Corona. This chest can be located by first going to the forest, more specifically the Wildflower Clearing. Following the path, you will come across an area where Sora is able to dive attack. Dive attack the rock at the bottom and once you do, it will expose the chest that has the Arrow Cuff Link. We have now obtained the two items we need to make this experience easier, so let's go into a quick detail of what we will be doing. First, head to the Realm of Gods in Olympus. There in the middle is what's known as a battle portal. Before heading into this portal, you are going to want to make sure you have a Keyblade that has more of an emphasis on magic, like the Ever After Keyblade or the Crystal Snow Keyblade. Next, you can add any accessories you wish, but of course I recommend any that increase magic, but two of the slots are for the cufflinks anyway, so choose wisely. Put on both the arrow and thunder cufflinks. Now one thing that may happen to you as it did to me is that when you need to make sure that you have enough AP to equip both the arrow and thunder cufflinks because they both come with abilities that count towards your regular ones. So with the arrow cufflink you get arrow boost and with the thunder cufflink you get thunder boost. But you may already have these abilities on in your regular abilities menu, so if you try to equip both of these when you already have them on your menu and have low AP, it will tell you to remove the abilities so you can equip the cufflinks, and that's not what you want since you want to be doing as much magic damage as possible. Also, this is optional, but having ethers makes this even faster so you don't have to wait for your MP to recharge. Oh, and shortcut Araga and Thundaga. Anyways, once that's all taken care of, you are ready. Enter the battle portal and start using Araga and Thundaga respectively. This will cause you to get Araza and Thundaza, in which you can spam on the enemies like you were seeing on the screen to quickly get rid of them, and as you can see, you are getting quite a bit of experience from it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you are around level 40, doing this for about an hour or so will get you to level 99. After which, you can do whatever you want, other battle portals, get the trophy, secret boss, whatever you want, and this is pretty much it. I'm not saying this is the absolute best way in the game to level up, but it's the fastest way I had come across and that I know of, and added some things to it that makes it even faster. And since the game just came out, I assume there will be other ways at some point, and if there are, I will pin a comment down below with an updated strategy for this. Though, thank you guys for watching. If this guide helped by any chance, please leave a like, as it lets me know I did alright in explaining what to do, and on the small chance you guys want more guides, I know to do so. That being said, I already have a bunch of guides laid out, with my last one being a synthesis material guide, but that will take quite a bit of work, obviously. So, when it's ready, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Once again, it's been Limit, and I'll see you guys in the next guide. Peace!